This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. Let's get up to the Jets' home opener in their 50th anniversary season of winning Super Bowl III. On the call, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Miami Dolphins. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. 2-1 lost team set to lace it up. This ought to be fun, and we're underway on EA Sports. Now to return it, here's Kenyon Drake. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Leading them out is going to be their quarterback. That's the grizzled vet, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. They go play action here on first down. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Now a second down throw for Fitzpatrick. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. There he goes inside the 30. And down to the seven-yard line. They give him a gain of 38. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to move. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Alex Collins, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. Hey, they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed, and this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently, but whatever they said appears to have worked. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. We get a peek at the number three overall pick out of USC, the rookie QB, Sam Darnold. And remember, the Jets traded up to number three. They traded with Indianapolis to get in that spot, but they weren't assured of getting Sam Darnold. And then the draft board fell exactly the way they wanted. They got the guy they wanted in Sam Darnold, 
and the Jets, who haven't made the playoffs since 2010, when they were led by another USC quarterback named Mark Sanchez, hoping for the same effect from this young rookie out of USC. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The numbers for Bell on the ground of the game last week. 18 carries, 89 yards, and a touchdown. They've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that goes for a gain of 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they foot field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. On second and ten, Darnold. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And quickly, the starting 11 now for the New York defense. Linebackers still off in control defenses, and C.J. Mosley does exactly that for his. A pro bowler three of his first four years. Not only can he run and hit, he diagnoses plays so well, feels them out, and makes sure his team is organized and in the right spot on each and every snap. Second down, Fitzpatrick. And it's caught over the middle, Wilson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Bell. They give him a gain of 37. Sometimes it seems like a tough world out there. Many thought Sam Darnold would go number one overall to the Browns. And he fell to number three to the New York Jets. I think he fell to a great situation. He gets to go to New York with a rebuilding team, take over the job right then and there. And while many were expecting Broadway Baker Mayfield, instead, they got sudden Sam Darnold. And I think the Jets fans are going to be very happy to have him. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Flush to his right. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. 
Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes it. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were lifting their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Fitzpatrick now on second down. He dumps it off to Drake. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. Yo, they saw it, came right for it. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 right at the 50-yard line. A give to Bell. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Tackle made there by Eric Rowe. All right, now, look at 56. Look the good at 56. run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first right, now, NFL sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. A shotgun snap for Donald, escaping the pressure right. He's looking deep for Bell, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. I think it's intercepted. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On second down, Collins. Shedding the tackle that gives him some room. 
And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and 10. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And it's caught by Parker. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. A reminder coming up at halftime. The coach is back. He made it through the first weekend. That's the good news. And he's going to regale you with stats and scores from around the NFL here in the early games in week two. You think he questioned coming back for week two and to work with us? I think he did. He's just happy that he is far away in Orlando. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays, then target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. The Dolphins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. To throw Fitzpatrick. And down. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And New York set to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones... They find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Darnold on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. On first and 10, Darnold. Herman's got it complete. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first down, it's Darnold. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. If you're running out route, it's likely 
You end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The yeah, you got it. The benefits of practice. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jets are able to strike for six. Good start to the season for Emmy. Had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can't. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I, I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. The drive starts with a run by Collins. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with a home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start with a little east versus west in the AFC, and it's the L.A. Chargers heading east take on Buffalo and it's the Bills with the lead in the second quarter the rookie Josh Allen with two touchdown passes from there we'll head to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field and they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one Patrick Mahomes looking good two touchdown passes finally we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and for the moment they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. Torrey Smith, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Here's Darnold now on second down. And he's got his man on the out route. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So Detroit, even though he caught Detroit. it, couldn't turn it into much more. On third down, here's Bell. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now it's Darnold, flushed out right. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. To throw on second down is Darnold. Hauled in by Anderson, left side. 
Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. 12 more yards there and another first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Now a play fake here on first down. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped it to one. Give him 30 yards there. Again, Darnold, and that's going to be incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. On the return comes Drake. Take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And he fires one that's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding defense. So they obviously the decline that, and it right. is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Cat and zero now for the extra point. So out now come the Jets. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. They'll run the counter with Collins. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Avery Williamson there to make the stop. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. And this is going to be incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. 
And New York set to take the field. The and that last the drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Darnold. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. A first down throw, Darnold. Got an open man, it's a new one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! On first down, Darnold. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Cliff Averill in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Play action supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. On second down, Montgomery. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Last year, the Jets averaged exactly four yards per rush, and that's what they need here, third and four. Play action, Darnold. Blitz coming and down he goes. Charles Harris coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? So now here come the Dolphins. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. 
You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On the left side, this is Stills. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Fitzpatrick to throw it. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, Fitzpatrick. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Fitzpatrick. And he finds Stills complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Fitzpatrick again. It's complete. Stills. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. The Dolphins on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. And that'll set them back five. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. They'll throw again. Fitzpatrick. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third down, it's Bell, and a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop, a man down on the return. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. This is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. They go play action here on first down. And Stills bringing it in. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 24 yards. A first down throw for Fitzpatrick. Drops it underneath for Collins. Sharp there with his feet. Gets him a little extra space. And then dropped just inside the 20. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Again, it's Fitzpatrick. He dumps it off to Drake, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Fitzpatrick on first down. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Collins. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you're likely going to be in the playoffs. But when you win at home, boy, what a great feeling that is. You don't even mind if people are at your house when you get home after a win like that. So for the Jets, they make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll be at home for one next week against the Oakland Raiders.